Aloha, friends and family. Top of the morning. This is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the moment we've been waiting for. This is this is years, years, years in the making. And uh, we're gonna be calm, collected, and professional about this. You want some eggies? might be asking yourself, how many dresses does she wear in one day exactly? Um, yep. 10? Ten. Ten? <laughs> All right, 10, 10 dresses it is. If that, if you didn't catch from the footage that we have our very first visual sunset on eggs. A very exciting day, very, like I said, we've been waiting for this day. Just, let's get her. Oh yeah, we're gonna get the eggs. I don't see any slugs in there. Oh man, this is exciting. Ex Watch face tea. She might come in with a little hoofoo, woofoo, woofoo. Let's take the, let's take off our top down camera and get some shots of mama and eggs real quick. She is also gonna be quite defensive of her eggs, so she might bite, okay? So you don't wanna reach out and touch her because she might bite you because she's got her eggs. She's mommy, she's protecting her eggs. Being a good mommy. And where did daddy be? Uh, daddy's hanging out over there. So she was paired with an Enchi Het sunset. And this is a cinnamon sunset. This is Bridget, the cinnamon sunset. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna pet her gently, see if we can just get her to crawl off the eggs and make it real easy to pick them up. Do you wanna try and take her off the eggs? Sure. You do? Uh -huh. All right. Come on up here, I'm gonna help you, okay? You stand up in here, and then just reach your hands in, and just grab the front, grab her front right here, okay? Just pick her up. Right by there, yeah, gently. Pick her up, good. Good, get this part up, and then use your other hand too. Um, and then grab her body down here, right here. Get her up, get her off, pick her up. Oh, don't flip the eggs, wait, hold on one sec, hold on one sec. You're okay, you did, you did good. I just told you to grab at the wrong time. We gotta make sure you get the tail so she doesn't accidentally roll those eggs too much. There we go, that's perfect. Perfect. Now we can get there. Oh, careful, careful. We have to be very gentle with the eggs, okay? Very gentle with the eggs. I see something. Take it out. Yeah, it's, that's a, we call that a boob egg. Boob egg? All right, we're going to check Mama here real quick. Make sure that she's empty. She looks pretty empty. First time Mama. Fantastic job. Careful, T, you're shaking the table a lot. There's a little bit of pee. Well, that's looking, that's looking pretty good. We got that one little boo bag right there, which people refer to as boo bag. I guess there's a little nipple. And generally, th I think those, those generally hatch out. We got five good eggs, no slugs, first time mom. That's fantastic. When they're all laid like this and they're all together, 
I just keep them together. I'll, I'll maybe stick the flashlight on there in the dark and, and just double check that the embryos adhered to the top. But generally, if the eggs are laid and they're all together, they seem to have stayed in the same position as they were when they laid, so I'm not really worried too much about the embryo. It's most likely, and, and every time I've checked, when the eggs are laid and they're all stuck together in the same pile that mom laid them as, and they haven't been rolled around at all, that embryo adheres to the top after they're laid, and that's where it stays. So I will double check afterwards, but pretty much, I'm just gonna do this. Get our little egg box, which for those of you guys watching for the first time, it's a just simple six quart Sterilite tub with the locking purple lids. And then we've got light diffuser that you can get at most hardware stores. It's like the big square light diffuser stuff. You can, you can see right here, it's just the square stuff. And then on top, we've got cross stitch, uh, good old Jerry, Jerry Robertson method. And then underneath we've got perlite with some water. And that's what we've done every time. And then we'll get some press and seal to cover the top once the eggs are in and cover that with a lid. And we've had virtually 100% success rate using this technique. I love when the eggs are like this and they're all together in one. You know, the weird thing is I was just looking at the eggs and it, was, it felt like I was looking through a camera even though I'm looking through my own eyes. <laughs> I got problems. Uh, you want to touch them? You, we're not gonna take them, but we're gonna leave them in this egg box and then we're gonna cover it up with the press and seal. And then after about 55 days or so, little baby snake is gonna come crawling out, maybe some more, and she sunsets. And 100% het sunsets. Our finally first time producing 100% het. So we've been doing a het to het. Yeah, we can put them away. We've been doing het to het pairings for sunset up until this clutch right here. So we've always had. Mom poop. Yeah, there's some mom poop in there. That's, that's, yeah, a little bit of mom poop, a little bit of year eight. No more 66% heads. I, I, when you're, when you're doing a project, when you, when you're just getting into like a high end recessive project, it's obviously, obviously head to head is kind of the way to go, you know, financially speaking. Yeah, but then you get those 66% heads and that can be, you know, then you have to prove them out or, or. Yeah, you can see the froggy after, I'm gonna finish talking about these eggs a little bit, okay? And then we'll get the froggy, is that good? Okay. So I'm, I'm just happy to like, the way that that- There's a little nipple. There's a little nipple. <laughs> I'm just gonna let her keep interrupting me, it's cute. That's why they call it a boob egg. There was a baby snake trying to crawl out. What's that? There was a baby snake trying to crawl out. What's that? What's there? <laughs> there was a baby snake trying to crawl out. There was a little nibble. Oh, was he nibbling on the egg? Yeah. Was he nibbling on the nipple? Nibbling on the nipple of the egg? Is that yeah. what happened? Uh, <laughs> nipple nibbling. Hey, leave a comment down below if you love nibble nibbling. Nipple nibbling. Nipple nibbling. Oh, uh, let's get the stuff. Don't fall out of your chair, please. I just wanted to Oh, oh, out. don't pick it up. They're grown up. No, they're still in the egg. They're not grown-ups, dingy. But they're so heavy. <laughs> oh, our battery's gonna die, quick. I'm putting it on quick because our battery's gonna die on the camera and then we're gonna have to get out of here. And we're gonna be all donezo. Press and seal because the baby goes wah. Nice sharp razor blade, cuts through it like butter. Mm. Now we're doing, now we're doing so fancy fresh. We got the little bitty babies and the eggies. And we're feeling like we passed the test. We're gonna do a little cutty on the sidey. So the plastic goes on easy ease. We're gonna do a little funny, little funny. Put them in the incubator so they do not freeze. We're gonna do a little nice, a little nice, a little baby freshy wah. We're gonna put it, cover, cover it up. We're gonna stick it into the incubator. Mm hmm Ah, uh, now we can see the frog. We get all the baby naked. All right, we're gonna get to that frog out. For those of you guys that are kind of wondering what our little setup looks like around here, let me take you, let me give you a little mini tour. Of course, we got our beautiful table that I made. Beautiful razor blade. Don't cut yourself on that layer. We'll tuck that over here. And then uh, we got our tripod for the camera that was holding this camera right here, right there. We got our little audio recorder down there. We got these overhead poles like this that hold this little deal that gives our top down shot of, with this camera. Of course, our light, our crispy little mic, the Octava mic that gives us that overhead, shoots down, gives it that super crispy, crispy audio, kind of like we're getting right now with this mic. And then uh, that's that's about it. You know, we got lights over there. We got a little fill light over there. We got, of course, the big light right here. 
We got lights behind us everywhere. We got hair light over there. We got these lights. We got that light. We got that light lighting up the sign. We got the lights in the cage. It's Lightland. It's Lightland, Leia. What type of, what type of froggy is he? Um, green. <laughs> he said later. I'm out of here. No princesses for me. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in with us today. We appreciate all you guys lovely comments down below we we appreciate everybody that jumped on morph market from the last video and went yeah we that thank you everything's looking real good we're gonna get ready to get up to the snow with the family and, and do some fun stuff up there love to have you guys along for that part of the trip and uh Le, you, can you say aloha to everybody oh, I'm just gonna hold a frog. <laughs> you're just gonna hold the frog take care of yourselves take care of each other we'll see you on the next video can you say aloha t can you say aloha to go but can you say aloha? Oh, <laughs> can you say aloha? Hey Leia, what? can you say aloha? <laughs> I guess that's a no. <laughs> All right, T. Let's see what happens next time. I ask you, ask me to do something. Oh. I'm just kidding. We don't do eye for eye around here. All right, Froggy's had enough princess. Bounce, like a froggy, frog. Bounce, like a froggy, frog. Bounce, like a froggy, 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 froggy. Frog doesn't bounce. Doesn't have to stand up. To stand up like me. All right, let's put the froggy away. I think he's had enough. I almost forgot. People like to see Dad. And she hit sunset. Yeah, there we go.